So SQAL. Okay, if you're not familiar with this plugin, definitely check it out. Um, it's an emulation of the SQ80. A lot of people like it. If you're interested in like retro classic synthesizer sounds, this plugin is definitely for you. The biggest issue is that it's no longer being developed. So it does have its limitations. Um, if you look at the tall reverb here, I can automate any of these uh, parameters. But when you look at the SQ8L, there's seriously no option there. Um, so that's sort of annoying. So I have come up with this little MIDI, MIDI CC device, the SQ8L filter control. Um, basically, all it does is allow you to automate the filter, um, which is not a whole lot, um, but it is, it is something. Um, so it does make the SQ8L VST automatable now. Um, and instead of sit here and talk to you about everything that it does, I can just run through a couple little examples that shows you how it works. So on the bass, we've got the depth. And this just dictates, dictates uh, which direction your envelope is going to be going. Then you have the obvious stuff. Also, if you don't have Bitwig, you can't use this, of course, but there is another way to automate the filter within SQ8L that you may not be aware of. Um, it's MIDI CC74, so in any DAW, you should be able to load up SQ8L, then go to your automation lanes. I'm not sure how it works in, in every DAW, but um, go to your automation lane, go to MIDI, and then find MIDI CC74. And you can you should be able to plot out your points within here, and that will take care of all of your filter automation. 